10 in East San Jose community is mourning the death of a youth counselor who was killed in a hit and run crash. The 24 year old was driving home when a car ran a red light and slammed right into him. KTVU's Asna Smith joins us live tonight from the site of that crash where also a memorial is starting to grow. Asna. Well, Mike, loved ones held a candlelight vigil for Jose Esparza, a life many people say is worth honoring. He overcame unimaginable obstacles and was an inspiration in the community. Family and friends gathered at McKee Road and North 33rd Street in San Jose to honor the life of Jose Esparza, a foster youth counselor who beat the odds only for his life to be taken away. Well, he was preparing for the future for, you know, he aspired to have kids, he aspired to get married, and it sucks that, you know, it got taken away from him so so easily. 2.30 Saturday morning, the 24-year-old was a few blocks from his home after a night with friends when he was broadsided by a driver in a black 2015 Infiniti. Police say the Infiniti sped through a red light and crashed into Esparza's Honda. Esparza was ejected and died. The Infiniti driver took off on foot. I'm having a good ending, you know, no matter how hard it's going to get. As far as this scene here on a segment on 49ers Cal High Sports in 2015, ironically titled A Happy Ending. Growing up, Esparza had struggled with domestic violence at home. His father left him for Mexico, his mother unable to take care of him. Esparza was at one point homeless. His high school football coach took him in. To be honest, I haven't even been able to process it uh, because I still expect I still expect them to, to text me back. It's devastating. I, I go back and forth from being in disbelief um, to, to being angry. The principal at Overfelt High School says Esparza excelled in football and volleyball, but it was an academic scholarship that helped him get into UCLA. The challenges in his life would have stopped so many of us, and it not only did it not stop him, it almost like encouraged him to work harder and do more. After graduating UCLA, Esparza worked as a support counselor for Family Service Agency Seneca, helping countless foster youth. He really was someone who lived to serve, and it's just an unthinkable tragedy. A life eager to make a difference cut tragically short. You know, it was always about giving back to the younger generation and giving back to the community that made him who he was. And police have not announced any arrests. So far, a GoFundMe has raised more than $30,000. Loved ones say they know catching the suspect won't bring Esparza back. Saddened it happened to someone who deserved so much more out of life. Mike? Scholar athlete, someone giving back to the community, just gone too young. Let's hope police are able to find that driver sooner rather than later. Asna, thank you for that. A former 